a speaker has not been elected. This is a meltdown for the Republican Party. It has been a century since there was anything other than just a first ballot to determine the speakership. It has real implications for the entire country. For one, the House of Representatives is literally paralyzed. There's nothing that they can do until they get a speaker chosen. The House Speaker runs the House. The House Speaker sets the schedule on the floor, determines what chairmen uh, sit on what committees, determines in some cases what committees even exist, and ultimately figures out how all the trains can run, whether on time or not, in the House of Representatives. I extend to you this gavel. The first order of business in a new House of Representatives is that everyone in that newly elected House votes for Speaker. And the Speaker is elected with a majority of the full House of Representatives, not just the majority inside his or her own party. A few different factors are at play this time. One is the Republicans have an incredibly narrow majority. Uh, they only control 222 votes and they need 218 of them to elect a speaker. That means they could only afford to lose four of those votes on the floor. And despite the fact that they chose Kevin McCarthy as the Republican leader shortly after the election, they haven't convinced all of their members to go along with that plan. And that has empowered and emboldened a small group of Republicans to actually grow in number and deny anyone, including Kevin McCarthy, the speakership. There is no limit to how many votes might happen, and the House of Representatives can't do anything until a speaker is elected. So the thing to watch in each vote is where do the numbers land? And ultimately, are there more and more members of Congress who decide to not show up at all or to vote present? That matters because it takes down the magic number. The Speaker of the House just has to win a majority of those present and voting for a candidate. So by voting present or by skipping the vote, it's possible that the number that you need to become speaker goes down. In terms of this new era of divided governance, it is going to be a messy, messy time if the indications are anything like what we've seen right now. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.